What's up everybody? I'm back with another video and I have a special, special, special treat for you. This is the new EcoFlow alternator charger and I am really excited about it. I've actually already installed this in the FJ. If you guys want to see that video, it'll be up here in the upper right hand corner for you to check out. Now, this thing excites me for a number of reasons. I was originally looking at installing a solar panel rig on the top of the FJ and my RV so that I can charge on the go. But in order to accomplish that, I would have spent thousands of dollars all to sometimes achieve 700 watts of input in the uh, most ideal situation. But this situation right here, this thing can provide up to 800 watts of charging power to your EcoFlow units. Now let's first open this thing up and I'll tell you how it works. Don't let the little box fool you. This thing is heavy. Ha! Ha! There we go. There we go. So this box, here you're gonna have all of your cables. So here you are, you have your cables that attach to your battery. That's gonna be this long thing here. And let's go ahead and uncover this so you can see. And you're gonna have also your XT150 cable. Now, I don't like using those technical terms because what does that even mean? So basically, this will work with any EcoFlow power station that has uh, an extra battery. So the Wave 2, the Delta 2, uh, the original Delta, the Delta Pros, the Delta Ultras. So this is what this will work with. I don't know if they're going to be doing anything in the future to make it work with the River Series, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they were coming up with some adapter for that. Now pulling this out of the box... A little easier now this is our main unit here which I totally needed two hands for we're gonna pull this tab off and lay her down gently and open her up and this is what we're greeted with now it's actually quite a simple unit I'm going to just talk about it a little bit before I pull it out uh, it has your Wi-Fi module here this is where you plug this guy into. They all have images, so it's very easy to not mess anything up. You have a car for the car, so this will be coming from the battery. This goes to your power station. And this is actually, I think, for diagnostics because it's like an Ethernet port. See there? And you also have your on button here to the side. Now, how does this thing work? Like I mentioned before, you would connect this to the positive side of your battery terminal. There's another negative coming out of here, but you would just ground that. You could use the battery ground is what I recommend because it's not going to be too far from your battery. And then run the cable and then plug it into this port right here. And that's it. It is all installed. Then you plug this into your power station. Now, the way it works more specifically is whatever excess energy your alternator can provide that's in your car after it's powered and charged your battery, after it's powered the other accessories, this will pull that extra amperage and push it to your power station up to 800 watts. So every vehicle is going to be different. Some might not be able to push 800 watts total because it doesn't have that excess energy. But if you have something like an FJ Cruiser, a Land Cruiser, an RV, chances are you have heavy duty alternators and it will do the 800 just fine. This does 800 just fine in the FJ, which I'll show you some footage of that in a second. But as small as this thing is, it's a lot smaller than solar panels, it does weigh quite a bit. And we're gonna go ahead and weigh this real quick and let's see what she comes in at. All right. Sit on the scale here five pounds on the dot that's not a lot but at the same time it's a lot for this thing you see it's like the size of my hand and it's not uh that thick so 
Yeah, five pounds on that thing. Now, before we get into talking about this thing a little bit more, I have some notes here. Let's just answer the question. Does it work? Yes, it does. And I'm going to show you some footage of it powering the power station right now. It is currently charging at an input of 800 watts. And it'll be full in 13 minutes. And this is from the car. So it definitely, definitely works. That is insane. Now, a couple other things this thing can do. It can also reverse charge your battery. So that will come in handy in an RV type situation where you may need to charge your house batteries. You can change modes on this and it will pull power from your power station and charge your house batteries, also expanding the capacity of your house batteries. Another thing this thing can do is also jumpstart your car. So let's say your battery dies on your car. Obviously, it can't turn on for the alternator to charge it. You, you ran, you know, you had the lights on too long, whatever. You can plug this up and it will also pull power from the power station to jumpstart your vehicle. Finally, another thing this thing can do is it also can act as a battery maintainer. So you just change it to that mode. It will charge up your house batteries, for example, in your RV, and it will keep that charge as a maintainer for as long as you set it up. Now, another thing with this only being five pounds, it is also very portable. So you don't have to necessarily leave it in one vehicle. You can install it in one vehicle and transport it from one vehicle to another or from your RV to a vehicle. Now, you will need two of these, but if you ordered another one of these, you ran this through in an RV, ran it through in an SUV or a pickup, you could just pull this off. Me, I have this mounted using heavy-duty Velcro, and it's working great for me, and I could just pull it off unplug it from the car let me show you how that works really quick too because there's a little trick to doing it and then move it into the rv and bob's your uncle now i'm going to demonstrate with the cable that goes to your power station they all have protective flaps so we're going to plug this in and lift it up on something higher push that in There we go, snaps in place. Now, these things are too close for you to get off with your hand because you have to pull the tabs out. So you'll need this little tool that it comes with and you slide this down there and then you push it off. And it comes right off. Now, the last thing I wanna say about this is I love this because again, this for me replaces the need for a major solar panel set up on your vehicle this will charge faster it has a much smaller footprint and it only costs 599 a 400 watt solar panel costs more than 599 so this is a no-brainer now we still need solar panels i would say yes for when you're docking and camping out and you don't have the vehicle running yes you would need a solar panel then but you can just use portable panels tuck them away somewhere pull them out when you dock and then charge things up if you don't have optimal conditions it's not a big deal because you could just start the car back up and boom charge your things up quick fast and in a hurry so this is a brief overview like i said if you want to see this installed and see it working in a car check out my video up here where i install it in an fj cruise i do step-by-step -step installation but you can skip to the end to see how it works it's currently on pre-sale they will actually start shipping at the middle of may i think may 17th or the end of may but uh and as far as the app goes the app is also in beta so it's not even in the ecoflow app just yet uh so i haven't even been able to play around with all the extra settings but it'll definitely have extra features once that's all done but again if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments i'm going to install this in the rv and i'll do an update video for that so you can see how it's working in the rv see you guys next time